Hey everyone, Ryan here, from MNR Productions, with the most comprehensive LEGO Star Wars 2022 rumor list video to date. We've got some big new rumors in today's video that you are not gonna want to miss. And if you aren't already subscribed, make sure you do so so you can stay up to date on the latest LEGO Star Wars news and reviews. Anyway, we have 11 LEGO Star Wars 2022 sets to cover today, which is quite a few. We've gotten up there. We've come quite a ways from the first Snowtrooper Battle Pack rumor video for 2022. That being said, we are gonna be going in set number order. So the Snowtrooper Battle Pack will be up first with set number 75320 and we finally do have some set numbers to attach to these as well as piece count and prices for as many of these as possible. The Snowtrooper Battle Pack, as many of you know, is reported to cost now $20. That's an increase of $5 from our previous Battle Packs, which is a bit of a shame given that we are apparently getting the same number of minifigures with three regular Snowtroopers and a Snow Scout Trooper. On top of that, it is reported to have a Snow Speeder, an E-Web Blaster, a Snow Bank or something like that effect and the biggest question mark out of this battle pack for a lot of people are the minifigure stands. What will those look like? We still don't know. So unfortunately no new updates there. Oh and the Snowtrooper battle pack will have 105 pieces. The next setup is 75321 the Razor Crest Micro Fighter and this one actually does have an update so it's gonna look like a Razor Crest but small and it's gonna have the Mandalorian in Beskar armor. We've kind of assumed and known those things but the bigger question mark here is that apparently, according to some Instagram leakers, it is going to include a new type of shooter. So it implies that it is not our standard good old stud shooter. It's not a spring-loaded missile. It's something new. Um, and I've always wondered what LEGO would do next. It's been a while. The, the stud shooters were introduced in 2014. So maybe this is a wholesale, like, getting rid of the, the stud shooter move in 2022, which included the battle pack. So we'll see what happens as far as that goes. But there is reported to be some type of new mechanic for for the shooter function in the Razor Crest Micro Fighter, which is kind of an exciting thing. It's at least something different. 75322 is reported to be the Hoth ATST, and this one does have some updates from the last time I made a video about it. So last time we talked about it, it was rumored to be an 18 plus set and retail for $60. And in the video I said I couldn't see an ATST costing $60, and thankfully it won't. Um, on top of that, it isn't 18 plus, which I ultimately think is gonna be a good thing here. But that being said, it is now supposed to cost $50 with 586 pieces. So quite a few more pieces actually than the most comparable recent ATST given the 2016 model from Rogue One had 449, this one with well over 100 more pieces. There could be some substantial changes to the build here and that is what excites me. I believe it was reported that the head will look significantly different, which I think is important for the ATST here. So we'll see what it looks like when, when pictures eventually get leaked, but it's looking like we're gonna have an ATAT -AT pilot, a Chewbacca minifigure, and a Hoth Rebel Trooper included in that set for characters. The ATST pilot was a given in my opinion, the surprising ones to me being Chewbacca and a Hoth Rebel Soldier. Just didn't see those coming with this set. On top of that though, there is supposed to be an Imperial Pro Droid included in the set. Uh, that is a nice addition and we'll cut a little bit into that piece count, although uh, not too much for that ATST. So bulk, assuming there's no other scenery items of the, the piece count there should go into that ATST. And it's just, there's a lot of question marks as to how good it could look with that many pieces. So I'm kind of excited for or what we might have there, even though it's another ATST and there's a lot of other things that uh, people are desiring lately. The next three set numbers we know almost nothing about being 75323, 324, and 325. The only set number that there is any bit of information on, I believe, is 75324, and that is reported to cost $30. So what that will entail, I don't know. What the other two sets will entail, I don't know. But there are three other sets still just kind of looming uh, for 2022. It's obviously unconfirmed whether any of them will actually be released at this point, but uh, I would assume so. There are rarely, if ever, just three big blank spots in the middle. I would assume um, that these sets would have something to do with new TV shows or something like Book of Boba Fett or The Bad Batch. That would be the best guess I could possibly have, but at this point, we just don't know, and for all intents and purposes, they're currently just blank waiting for rumors to pop up later. Set number 75326 is reported to cost $100. And an interesting rumor popped up this week that I'm going to peg on this set because I think it's the only way that it fits in. Usually there aren't $100 LEGO Star Wars sets in January waves or the first half year waves or whatever. And I say usually because it has happened before. It certainly could happen again. Like I, I believe in 2015, we got the $200 UCS Slave 1 in January. So like 
it's not out of the realm of possibility to have expensive sets in January. And I think the rationale behind this, the only way this makes sense is if it is this set and there is reported to be a Jabba's Palace, but it's not Jabba's Palace, it's now Boba Fett's Palace, right? So now Lego is probably making a big play set with Boba Fett instead of Jabba, obviously, um, at 100 bucks. What this could look like, given that the last Jabba's Palace was $120 in 2012, I would assume we're looking at a bit of a skimmed down version of that and more interior looks than exterior. I really think the controversy on the older set was really overplayed. Um, I think Lego doesn't care that much. I think Star Wars or Disney doesn't care that much either, given that they went back to the palace in the in the show. If it mattered, they wouldn't. It looks like we should be getting a Lego Boba Fett's palace. I don't know if that's what it would be called in 2022. I would assume that it would be this $100 set, but it could be those three blank sets that we don't know anything about. I would assume it's not 30 bucks, like fingers crossed. We get Boba Fett, of course, hopefully with a fixed helmet, but I wouldn't bet money on that. Lego doesn't seem to want to change things and make things better all the time. Uh, and then we also have the potential for, I, I think Gamorrean guards could definitely show up. They would still be roaming the grounds, right? We could also have another appearance of the Fennec Shand minifigure. In fact, if two figures were guaranteed for the set, I would say it would be Fennec and Boba Fett. Uh, there are a lot of rumors about the, I think it's Hammerhead villain for Book of Boba Fett for the, the show. I don't know if that would make it into a set like this or not. Um, sometimes Disney's really secretive with that sort of stuff, sometimes they're not. Um, so it remains to be seen whether or not we will actually get uh, a minifigure representative of the main show's villain in sets this early on, but fingers crossed uh, that we would. To add to that though, uh, the only other figure that we could really throw in there right now would be like Fat Bib Fortuna, but he's dead. And so if like they're making a set based off the show, given that the events that we see at the end of Mando season two happened before the actual show, then it wouldn't make a ton of sense to include fat Bib Fortuna. Plus like, how would they do that? Would they make him his own mold? Would they do it? Oh, maybe like a Gamorrean guard where he just has like a big overlay belly or whatever, something like that. So and eh, it's a potential, but I don't think it's going to happen. So we'll see. It looks like there's a lot of potential there for a really good play set. If it is that $100 set and hopefully we get uh, enough minifigures to make it worth the money there. Next up are set numbers 75327 and 328, which I am assuming are the helmet sets at $60 each, uh, given that we have the Mandalorian helmet, the Luke Skywalker helmet, and the ATAT -AT pilot helmet rumored. Um, I did see someone say, I don't know how much weight this holds, that the ATAT -AT pilot helmet is probably the odd one out and the one that would be canceled. So it looks to me like the Mandalorian helmet and the Luke Skywalker helmet are the more likely two of the three. Obviously nothing guaranteed at this point. I do see a lot of people uh, giving flack that it's just a recolor of Boba Fett's helmet, but I honestly, I do not subscribe to that theory very much like ever at all. If it's a different character, it's a different character. Just because the build is not substantially different doesn't make it a bad set. Hopefully they bring out some shinier uh, silver bricks, much like they did with the Infinity Gauntlet for the gold bricks. That would be really nice so that it just pops better because if it's done in like light gray, it's just not going to look that great. So I think that that is a potential thing on the table. A couple other Big new sets coming out for 2022 here, uh, rumored now, is a Death Star battle scene at $60. And so I have an interesting take on this one that I, I had Exotic whip up some, some concept box art for. And that is that I don't think, like some people are, I think it's a mixed bag here. Some people think it's gonna be a dual set, but I really think if it was a dual set, it would be called Death Star Dual Scene. Um, and this is like a translated thing, so I would think that it would translate properly. So we, obviously, you know, we can't guarantee anything here. But like, why would there be another Death Star Duel when we literally have the Death Star Duel and we had the smaller Death Star Obi-Wan set not too long ago. And if it was gonna be a Darth Vader versus Obi-Wan set, I would think it would be a $20 little dual set. And I think that should still be a set, but I don't think that is this set. I think this is like a Death Star Trench Run, which I made in my predictions video. I don't know if it was this year or last year, honestly, but I've been hoping for a Death Star Trench Run for a long time, and I think this may finally be it. It might even be an 18 plus set, so I did it in black. I just don't see a lot of play potential for a set like that, so that would make a lot of sense. And like, I just, that is an exciting prospect to me. Would it include any minifigures? Probably not, given the potential scale of it. Like, it would definitely not be in the scale of like the normal size X-Wing and TIE Fighter that we have. You would definitely have scaled down builds, and then at that point, I would just assume it would be like mini scale and so we're gonna have something like without minifigures or they'll have minifigures on stands because those are just a bonus. If they do include minifigs, I would just expect like a Darth Vader and Pilot Luke or something like that. That would just be the most sensible uh, minifigs to flank the build. So we'll see what happens there, but I am really excited at the prospect of a Death Star Trench Run potentially happening in 2022 for just 60 bucks. That's just really exciting to me. So hopefully that one turns out well if it is what I am hoping it is. And then the final set on the list is Yoda Train 
training is what it's called, um, but we can assume it's just kind of a Yoda's hut type of set. But the big thing with this one that I think jumps out to a lot of people is that it costs $80. And to be fair, the 2004 X-Wing with Yoda's hut on Dagobah set cost 50 bucks back in 2004, but adjusted for inflation, it's about $72, which is pretty close to 80. So you can see where we're drawing some lines there. But the 2018 Yoda's hut only cost $25. So how are they going to make a Yoda's training set cost $80? and make it a is it a play set is it an 18 plus set again i just had him throw it on black box art because it could probably be an 18 plus set it makes sense to me that it would be an 18 plus set at that price point um and given that we just had a play set a few years ago the other thing with this is that like it has to be some bit of a substantial build and to that point i would expect it to recreate a lot of the iconic scenes from the Yoda training like so let's call it Yoda's training then maybe there is a mechanism to lift I don't know if it obviously if it's an 18 plus display set then it might not have a mechanism but maybe there's a mechanism to lift the x-wing out of the water or some bit of the x-wing just you know it's got submerged if it's just for display but at that point like it's got to be a micro x-wing it can't be too big because you have to have other aspects of the build I think one of the scenes that they could really include here that would be really important and really nice would be that Luke Skywalker Darth Vader interaction where Luke cuts off Vader's helmet and then it's his own face obviously so it would be a really cool scene to finally have recreated in Lego Star Wars that we haven't had yet and this would be the perfect opportunity to do it in such an expensive set for what should otherwise be a $30 set if it were just a play set in my opinion um, and then we also have the aspect of the actual Yoda's hut which could be substantially expanded from some of the previous versions I, I'm not really sure what the build could look like here it could have like a black base and platform or something just to give the build a defined boundary that's definitely on the table although they haven't really done that yet for a Lego Star Wars set. That's just more of a vignette thing that I see a lot of people do for mocks. So this one is definitely presenting a unique potential. And the, the minifigures I would predict for this are Luke, Yoda, and R2-D2 are just absolute locks in this set. And then if they do decide to recreate that Darth Vader Luke scene, then you would include a Darth Vader minifigure. But underneath the helmet, there would be a Luke Skywalker head. And those last two sets were set number 75329 and 75330, respectively. But there is still more. The UCS set for May 4th, 2022 is reported to be a UCS Luke's Landspeeder for 200 bucks with a Luke Skywalker minifigure and an R2-D2 minifigure. Cool. Luke's Landspeeder. We all knew it was going to happen eventually and we can finally move past it. So I, I'm excited at the prospect of a Luke's Landspeeder UCS set. I think it's a set that needed to be made in UCS. I've, I've talked about this before. I think it's bad timing. I think that a Slave 1 re-release should have happened given Book of Boba Fett and its importance in obvious popularity to come. There are just things like that that would make more sense for LEGO to do, um, but but not here, unfortunately. So set number 75341. The final rumors to cover are, of course, the minifigure packs. And we've talked about these at length in their own video, so I'll keep it short here. There's supposed to be minifigure packs in 2022. There are supposed to be two of them for LEGO Star Wars, and they could be anything at this point. Given the designer comments, I am just gung-ho on the fact that there ought to be a Phase 2 Cody in one of these. It has already taken way too long for them to make it, but uh, I, I would feel like this is the last chance they get from a lot of fans. I would feel like they've already had their last chance, but, uh, you know, this is definitely the, the place for it to happen if it's going to happen. And then the second minifig pack, I mean, they could do something like Cody and Rex packs, but I would honestly, like, if you're going to do a, a clone commander, so if you're going to do Cody, why not just do Cody, Rex, and Fox or something all in one set, and then have the other set just be regular clones so people can mass buy one set and then just buy one of the other, if that makes sense. Instead of, like, if you, if you do something like Cody with 212 and Rex with, with 501st, then, like, even if you're buying multiples of both, you're still ending up with a ton of the same figure. I would just like to see it. Like, if you're going to do commanders in a cheap set put them all in the one set and then make the other set just a massable type of battle pack clone set that's just my two cents but we all know it'll probably be jawa r2d2 and luke skywalker or something dumb i honestly think they finally realized how poor some of the decisions they have been making are and they might actually deliver here um i hate being optimistic because being optimistic has burned me so incredibly badly over the last two years of of my lego star wars and lego life just in general like whatever like i'm generally very optimistic but I, that, that has very much faded for me, but uh, I, I allow myself to get hyped up every once in a while now, and uh, this is this is the place I'm getting hyped up, and I'm putting all my hopes on the, the minifig packs, and uh, hopefully they release early in the year, although it's unconfirmed when they'll be releasing, but again, just $15 with, we'll assume, three or four minifigs each, so that is 
every LEGO Star Wars 2022 rumor so far. There are still many sets to come for the year with, as far as I can tell from the set number gap, at least 10 uh, summer sets or sets that are just going to release after uh, May of 2022. It looks like a pretty decently good first half of the year and certainly not anywhere near as bad as the first half of 2021. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, like would be greatly appreciated and I'll see y'all next time. Peace out.